Hi everyone, Dan from devicesteel.com.au. Um, today I wanted to touch on some of the commonly asked questions that we get through our customer service and sales lines. Um, the Arlo cameras are extremely popular, um, but a lot of the questions that we get are from customers that haven't even chosen to buy an Arlo camera, they don't know what the models uh, in the range are, they don't care necessarily about what all the features are in that, at that stage, more interested about how does the pro product physically work. How do you install it? Um, where do you install it? Why would you install it? What are the benefits of it? What are the features of it? Those sorts of questions. So we're gonna just run through some basics today. We do have other videos that will explain some of the more technical features and the differences between the products that Arlo has available. Um, but today's video is, is mainly just about uh, introducing Arlo as a, as a product range. Um, and getting to learn a bit more about, you know, how it all works. So we've got here the, the sort of the core parts of the Arlo range, um, starting off with the base station. Uh, the base station is kind of like a, a, a hub. It's the Wi-Fi network creator. So this is the device that will actually connect wirelessly to the cameras. So your base station comes with each of the uh, Arlo Ultra and Pro 2, Pro 3 products. Um, they call the Arlo cameras wireless. Are they wireless? Yes, the camera itself is wireless. You don't have to run any cables to it, no network connections, nothing. The base station itself is not wireless. It requires an ethernet connection which plugs into the base station. The other end of the ethernet connection needs to connect into your broadband router, modem, network switch if you've got one, but this device needs an internet connection, needs to be uh, connected physically to an internet connection. Um, normal AC power connection just into the back of it, um, but you've got your two cords there That'll give your device power. It'll give your device an internet connection and allow your devices to connect up into the cloud and the internet in general. The cameras themselves are completely wireless. They're wireless because they have a battery um, that is gonna keep them charged for quite a while. The batteries are pretty, pretty simple. Um, you know, the camera just pops open, you pop, a, pop your battery in, uh, close it back up again, and you put it up wherever you want. There's a couple of different types of mounts. So when you want to uh, decide where you, you're gonna place the mount, uh, you've got a magnetic mount, which used to be called an indoor mount, but they're calling it a magnetic mount now. Very, very, very strong. It's not gonna blow off in the wind, anything like that. Um, so you can sort of securely put it wherever you want. The back just affixes like a picture frame hook, just to put it on a screw or a nail, whatever you want to put it on. Hang it uh, off a wall and the camera just clips on. You can adjust the angle nice and easily. So they're sort of a nice easy way of, of installing. Uh, you've also got a, a screw mount, which is uh, the other possibility, the screw mount is basically the same sort of thing, just screws into the back of the camera, um, screw it on, and it's just going to let you screw the base of the mount into whatever surface you're wanting to put it on, a tree or a side of the house, whatever it is, and then you can just adjust the camera as required. Um, so very easy to install. It's one of the biggest selling points of an Arlo product is you know you basically plug your base station in, um, get it connected up, download the app onto your smartphone, follow the instructions on the app to synchronize the cameras to the base station and just mount them. Put them wherever you want, have the app open viewing the live camera, hold it up, put it wherever you want, test it, easy installation. You don't need to bring in a professional, anything like that. Um, nice and simple. Charging the device. It's actually a uh, USB connection on one end, 
which just goes into a into a uh, AC power adapter, and then the other end is magnetic onto the bottom of the camera. Easy. Um, so you charge your camera when it needs it, uh, but nice and simple. So you'll get everything you need to actually use the product straight out of the box. Again, nice and easy. Accessories. Um, there are some additional accessories. Probably the most commonly used is a solar panel, which is just designed to keep the battery topped up. Um, comes with a mount, put the mount onto the back of the solar panel, um, install your mount, obviously where it's gonna get some, some sun. And the actual clip, again, is a bit of a, it's a longer um, cord this time, but still with the same magnetic clip. So again, uh, onto the camera. And if you've got that on all the time, uh, potentially you're not gonna have to bring your camera down to charge it. So touching on the actual use of the product. It's simple to, to, to put up. Um, motion detection, the whole design of an Arlo camera is motion detection. If someone is where they shouldn't be at a time they shouldn't be there, you're gonna get the camera trigger. It's gonna record a clip. The idea is that it sends the clip up to your Arlo account. Your Arlo account notifies you through the app you can then log into the app once you get your alert on the phone and view what the clip is showing. Um, obviously, hopefully it's, you know, it's a dog running across the screen or someone walking up to deliver a package, whatever it is, um, but at least you can see what's going on uh, right then and there. Um, you can then, or at any stage, log in to or view a camera feed live. So, if you've got a puppy, we've got a puppy that we've uh, had not long come into the family. Uh, when we're out and about, it's really handy to be able to just log into the app, see what's going on, keep an eye on things. Uh, we've had people use it for elderly parents, um, just to be able to keep an eye, peace of mind. Uh, pets is important and obviously your normal sort of security reasons. Hopefully no one needs them, but obviously the situation arises when, uh, when people do need to keep an eye on things a bit closer. Um, so motion detection. One of the most uh, common problems we have with people using Arlo products is the fact that it is just a battery. Now, if you're putting it in your backyard where a dog is running across the field of view constantly throughout the day, yes, your battery is gonna go dead every couple of days. It's not the intended use of the product. The, the way that you would get around that is to schedule your camera to be on during certain times. So my, me personally, I've got mine set from sort of uh, late at night until early in the morning. So that's when it comes on. But when there's people home during the day, I don't want alerts every time someone opens and closes the door. So it's, it's turned off. So we'll put up some information on how to do the scheduling because it's extremely important to the use of the product. Um, but a, a motion detection camera for the times that you want the motion detection, depending on which camera you get, you've also got a spotlight that's gonna come on to give you a bit more picture clarity, uh, but also as a bit of a deterrent as well. Sirens and two-way audio through the camera so you can talk to whoever's there. If it happens to be a, you know, a courier or a postie and they're just gonna leave a, a card, um, you can you know, tell them to put it somewhere secure or you can actually communicate with whoever's wherever they are, you can yell at a pet, whatever it might be. Um, but the two-way audio is quite useful, especially, for example, when you're checking on a, an elderly um, family member. So a couple of reasons where you might not use an Arlo product. Um, the main one is where you want 24-hour constant uh, video surveillance. 
right? It's not that type of product. It's not a reason that I would sell or recommend it to, to a customer. Um, those are much, much, you'd be better to pay the money to get an installation, a professional installation with a fixed camera system that records back to a hard drive. If you're looking for a 24 hour surveillance where you can sort of say, all right, I wanna go back one week and see what happened at you know, 3.30 in the afternoon on that particular day and time. Uh, this product won't do that for you. Your batteries are gonna go dead. It'll drive you crazy with all the alerts that you're getting constantly. It defeats the purpose of the product. So if you really want it for uh, permanent, ongoing 24 hour surveillance, the Arlo product is not, not the idea. It's not, not the best option. You can, in saying that, you can schedule, if you want to run power to the camera always, you can uh, sign up for an additional subscription through Arlo that allows continual video recording, but you pay extra for that. Um, and it's just going to mean that you're gonna have to run power to the camera. And if you're running power to the camera, then you know you may as well use a fixed camera installation anyway. So that's probably the, the, the main reason for um, when you wouldn't want to use an Arlo product. And the other one is when you're trying to capture an area where there is motion all the time, such as a pet, something like that. If you're gonna put a camera where it's going to be triggered all the time, you'll probably end up turning off the notifications. And if you're turning off the notifications, then there's no real point in having motion detection uh, on there anyway. So very much for you know the side of the house, configure it to come on at night. Um, if someone goes there when they shouldn't, camera will turn on, give you your alert. Front door, perfect. If someone comes to the front door, you'll get your alert, easy. There is another Arlo product, which is the Arlo Video Doorbell, uh, slightly different in the way that it works. This particular one is a wired version, which can be a bit of a pain, but Arlo are releasing a wireless battery operated doorbell, video doorbell. Um, uh, it should be coming onto the market shortly, and that one will add to the Arlo range where it's completely wireless. So that's a bit about the Arlo products themselves, how they work. Um, we have got another a video, as we mentioned, on the Arlo range. Uh, what are the differences between the different products? Um, some of the features of them, and it might let you uh, decide or help you decide which of the products is gonna best suit you. You can then look at you know, the pricing, what's on sale, those type of things, uh, and pick the best product for your particular use. So that's how to use an Arlo product. Um, check back for more videos. And if you like the content we're producing, please follow our channel, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.